guys, we're back with you. This is a uh, loser side match. Curtis Branker, local, against Garcia Bowie. I'm not familiar with Garcia Bowie. If you guys want to put any information about him in the uh, comments, feel free. If you guys haven't liked the video yet, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, put it in the comments. Tell me why. We'll see if we can get it to where it works a little bit better for you. Try to judge his abilities off of this one shot right here. He overcut it. And I can't tell from this angle if Curtis uh, can actually see it. I think you can. gonna have to worry about is the six ball he's pretty straight he should be able to play the six straight up in the corner without having to play uh, a combination but even if he has to play that combination was that what he set up for the six should roll in the position where he'll play that right in the corner afterwards anyway oh. little hanger but he should still be able to get it in two to three rails to get position on the uh, seven Unfortunate. Just going to float this up for a straight in shot of the nine.
love the song. Good song. Who sings it? Um, Tom Cruise? <laughs> Good answer. Uh, I, I, I just know it from Top Gun. You don't say. <laughs> that and uh, the one that they sing at the bar. Uh, I'm not going to sing it. So When the, the pickup line on the flight instructor. Do you know the song I'm talking about? Yeah, tell me the lyrics. Uh, never close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips. I'm not familiar. Can you tell me the lyrics with a little bit of harmony and rhythm? I never. <laughs> no. So who do you like here in this match? I don't know anything about Garcia. Garcia doesn't play bad. Um, Curtis, in every aspect of it, is the better player. Okay. Uh, he is more controlled, uh, plays better safes better ball maker so Ooh. Uh, see better saves so uh, the fir first game was a little bit rough um, second game Curtis ran out pretty readily yeah, you, you're very well versed in Curtis's game you've seen him play enough times uh, Garcia I've seen him play I've, I, I've actually played against him uh, he, he's a good player. He's, I don't. He's not on Curtis's caliber. Okay. So. And see, I, I, I put Curtis in, in the in the group of he's a good pool player and he can beat anybody, but he's just a good pool player. And so just like me and you and everybody else, he makes oh, still makes the mistakes. Oh, you lost. The yeah. Game. yeah. And uh, and I can't agree with you more. The fact that he can beat anybody in this tournament. If his game is, if he's, if his head is right and his game is on. Uh, yeah, I've, I've seen him play a couple times. There's been a couple times where he's beat beat the pants off of me, and you know, but then there's been other times where I played him and, and could make a ball. As long as he's like, he just walked by us. He's smiling he's and joking. He's taking a really big stroke on that ball right there. That, that shot was uh, I don't I don't I don't get that shot. I I don't mind that shot. It might also be because I like him. I take big strokes. Uh, you see, that's the problem. You run in, you run into problems like that. It, 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 all he had to do is slow roll that ball, touch it, and it's straight into the side, the natural position, and it's one of seven. Yeah, but now he just made two balls in one shot. That's one less shot he has to make. Oh my God, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> nah. I, Yeah, just, even if um, even if Curtis misses a couple shots, uh, just just based off of the this being the third game that I've seen this guy play, I still give it to Curtis. All right. Not but that this guy can't get there. Yeah, no, I mean he he just showed there and he can get out, but I've. Hey, anybody that's just joining us, you guys are going to get annoyed because I say this a lot. But please hit that thumbs up button. It makes it easier pe for people to find our videos when they try to search them. Hit that little bell icon underneath the video and subscribe to the channel. And then you get notifications when On the Hill will start new videos. It'll make it easier for you to know when we're streaming. And since this is a two-day tournament, you will get notifications tomorrow when we do pick back up. Well, we are going to be playing, I think, one more round past this. It's going to be this round, and then one more round on the loser side past this. Uh, the tournament director just informed me that they're going to be played down to 12 tonight. Uh, not 12 o'clock, but 12 players. Yeah, things are difficult in Maryland as far as the time schedule. Not in Maryland, actually, Anne Arundel County. Um, I'm sure there's some people from all over that are watching, but uh, right now with all this COVID bullshit, bars and restaurants have to close at 10 o'clock. I guess uh, COVID isn't as infectious after 10 p.m. 
have you actually even uh, told the reason why the 10 o'clock curfew? I've heard a couple different things. Uh, one of the things that I heard, um, they they don't want people to, to gather, and as they don't want them to get drunk by the end of the night and get all touchy feely. That that stupid. that's the way that it was explained to me that um, bars are a gathering place after everything else is done. <laughs> So uh, by cutting it off at 10, it takes away a gathering point, and it takes away from, yeah, you know, physical. Okay, okay, but bars can still be open on a patio? The fuck is that? Yeah, no, I, I don't agree with it. I'm just saying I know what their reasoning was. Um, and the fact that casinos can still stay open 24 hours a day. And if you're here and you close down, you can go... 15 minutes away to another county and drink the rest of the night away. Uh, he had quite a bit of draw in that shot. Yeah, he, he, was, he was just trying to run into it and he did and did, he, he, he hit it too thick. Now what do you do here? I think that I uh, bank the two ball back toward the eight and try to slide a cue ball to the bottom rail. And freeze it on the nine. <laughs> yeah. Didn't have much of a chance to actually look at that and discuss that one, but kind, kind of like a uh, a long a long rail crossover. That was a very nice shot. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I, so for the record, our score is off right now. No, no, I, I was keeping score until these other two guys sat down. I, I assumed one of them was going to take over the duty since the mouse is right next to them. So I take no responsibility for the score being off. I take no responsibility because my job is to talk. All right, well, let's be honest, Josh. When's the last time you ever took responsibility? So Curtis, awkward, awkward pause. Curtis should be out here. <laughs> Would you like to take a guess at what Curtis's best game is? Um, Curtis's best game according to Curtis? Uh, or Curtis's best game according to Josh? Both. Uh, you, you can take two guesses if you want for each one. Well, I, I don't agree, but I think you're going to say one pocket. Mm, I'm not going to. I was not going to say that. Right, what were you going to say? Eight ball. Okay. Um, he he is a good one pocket player. He's not phenomenal. Uh, he did beat the ever loving snot out of me the two times that we played one pocket. But he was teaching me the game. Uh, I was I was strictly a nine ball banger, which I am now.
it before the ball even was hit. So when he was looking away, but we didn't notice it. Game six, race to seven. Six. Another good break. Yeah. Oh, oh. that ball. That uh, I think this with the seven ball was going in the pocket. Yeah, that's that's tough. I mean, so he, he hit those pretty good. Unless they drag. Unless he's playing a safe. Drag he did play a safe. Maybe, maybe not his best safe, but I, th I think it'll still work because it's going to be hard to get back on the two. Yeah, but he's, he's got a he's got a couple options. He can bank this ball, bank it two rails and try and slide behind the four for a safe. No, bank it, bank it one rail and, leave and uh, play play a uh, speed shot. He's got an opportunity to try and carry him to four. I don't. I'm not really a fan of that shot. Yeah, that. If he if he banks it, then he plays uh, plays a stop shot, or tries to play pocket speed, just a low, you know, really stroke through it. There. Then he has the opportunity to get safe. Even if he makes this ball, I mean, he's going to be le leaving himself safe on the two. That's the thing that a, a lot of amateurs don't look at. Like, what's what's the point of me making this ball? See, he's he's going to one rail. This is another one. A two rail kick shot on that one. It gives you two opportunities to hit the ball. If you hit it short, you might hit it. If you hit it long, you still hit it. Yeah. But if you hit it right and you make it, then you roll natural position on the three. Yeah. And I, I like you on a two rail shot as that as well. angle but he'll be able to uh, make the four and get down on the five if he doesn't hit the ten ball safe wow well, well let's take this shot and let that shot pose the next question how do you feel about pro rules what a call shot call safety yeah I don't like it why because it takes away two-way shots. Okay, but it also takes away that shit. I'm fine with it. That that happens. I, I'm going to do it. My opponent's going to do it. But if, if I'm able to play a two-way shot, it's not my fault if my opponent isn't good enough to do those. You always have had commitment issues, haven't you? Yes. Yes, <laughs> I have. I've only, I've only tried it a couple times. It's a good try. That's a long jump right there. Um, why do you keep cranking it up? Because earlier, when people were having no problem hearing us, we were always getting into the yellow. So, then the key to it is to try to stay a little closer. But uh, we don't want the background music either. I, I cannot get any closer. I'm almost eating the microphone. Open yourself up for more comments there. I'm not talking about eating and opening up to you anymore. You got good mic skills there, Josh? I have uh, tremendous mic skills from what I've been told. Yeah, what's his name? Scott? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so back to the uh, <laughs> Dave's trying not to laugh. <laughs> Back to the, the pro rule thing, though. Uh, I've only played it a couple times, but I, I like it. I mean, it's it, it kind of uh, it it completely changes the dynamics of the game. Well, I have one extremely good reason for not liking it. Uh, you know, Rick Miller. Yeah. All right. He's come down here, and back when I was playing, uh, 
uh, it would be we played nine ball, we played ten ball, and I I was beating him. I was beating him pretty bad, and he wanted to play call shot, call safe. And we went back and forth, and we were breaking even at call shots, call safe. But if we just played called shot or go back to nine ball and play it all slot pools, I was winning. So it takes all right, and so Rick Miller, I, I, will, I will say one thing about his, his game. More recently, he sped up his game, but he used to play slow. Yeah. I don't know if he's – I've only seen him play like once or twice recently, uh, and he definitely wasn't playing as slow as what he used to. Called shot, called safe, slows the game down a ton. And, and that, that's what that's where a lot of people struggle with it. But it's, it's kind of like going from playing any game to playing one pocket. If you can't, if, if you can't adjust to not shooting at the ball, then you're going to suffer. And I have no problem when absolutely need be playing it safe. But like right here, if I wanted to, well, if that eight ball, if I wanted to shoot that eight ball and get to shoot the nine ball in the same exact pocket, if I end up missing the nine ball, I mean, if I end up missing the eight ball, I mean, I if I got to exactly where I wanted to be, I shouldn't be penalized for that. I mean, yes, I missed the eight ball, but I got to where I wanted to be. So my opponent should just have to be uh, have to play it from there, not have the option of giving it back. I don't know. There's no way you'd get through a tournament like. Uh like this in a weekend if you were to do called, called shot, called save. No, because everything will just slow down so much, and then you'll have people looking left and right about whether or not to give a, give a shot back, whether or not they want it, uh, people playing more safe because they can't do two-way shots. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I like it, though. I like, I like the idea. I like the – conceptually, it's like it makes sense. I get what you're saying about giving up the two-way. How do you feel about called shot nine ball? I'm fine with it. So what the hell's the difference? Because it's not called shot, called safe. It's just right. called. It's but just the original game of nine ball wasn't a called shot, so why are you changing the game to fit your rules? I know, trust me, I would much rather play slop everything. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm talking to the wrong one. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm fine with never calling anything. But if it's just called shot, I'm fine with that. But called shot, called safe, I'm not okay with. So I tell you, I uh, haven't done this for a while, but uh, I used to have a couple guys that we played with, and we would play a couple dollars a ball, but the way we would play it is you would play ghost nine ball, okay, and you had to call every shot before you, uh, before you shot you the had first to, ball. You had to call your position as well, yeah. But but you had, what, no, what I'm saying, though, is like, okay, you break, you take ball in hand. Before you shoot that first ball, you have to call how you're going to run the entire rack. I'm okay with that. And then, but the way, but then the way the way you get paid out is whoever gets the most balls in the end. I mean, we can we can do that. I'm fine with that. Can I get a ma can I use a magic rack as well? Sure. All right. I'm ball in hand after the break. I'm gonna make two or three balls in the break. I'm only gotta, I only have to play six ball. Ball in hand, all my balls will be open. Yeah, I, I think I would do quite well with that. It's interesting though when you do that, how how quickly you realize, oh man, my position is that that inch makes a big difference. I'm not touching you. I don't know. He's horny. <laughs> he knows me. Then you're full. We need security in here. So like take take like this little sequence right here. Obviously he's gonna want to bump the eight ball with the six ball. Yeah. Right. So well, um, if I had ball in hand, I'd play. Oh, he got. He's actually not bad right there. But now you got to consider like if you're gonna if you're gonna call all your shots before you start shooting. Wow, why didn't he hit? Me? See, he he thought he could play the um, play the six and hit the nine with the cue ball. Right. I've got to try and run into it now. Ooh. He might have scratched on purpose. 
he's like, let, let him take care of this. But all Curtis is going to do is put it behind the eight, yeah. shoot it up top, and freeze him on the nine. And that is one thing Curtis does ten times better, a hundred times better than I could ever do. I can't freeze balls. Well, apparently he, he had a little issue with that too. But that shot, I open ninety percent of the time, he's freezing it to that nine. Right. I have a, I have the hardest time in the world doing that. All you got to do is practice your stun shots and your angles. Yeah, that's, that, that's that's all it comes down to. Yeah, it's that whole practice thing. All right. Well, Curtis did still end up getting ball in hand, and he's going to ninety-nine point. 73% run out from here and he's going to be at 5 to 2. nine ball, right? After you, uh, to when you take, once you take ball in hand, you've got to call every shot before you start shooting. So you got to call the whole, the whole run, what you're going to play. Yeah, I can't even run out right now. <laughs> So he pocketed the seven ball on a break, and he's got a pretty straightforward run right here. Which which one of these would help turn down the outdoor the uh, the music? Uh, just turn it down again. Whoever's mic's the loudest. The, the microphones really realistically should be set to about the same on the game here, and then this is the master. Here. So. It was just uh, Fred said that he could hear the music a little bit. Okay. It's he said it was quiet but audible. Okay, so this. I think that's a, a, that was Dundalk talk for that he could just hear it. This is a very, very straight stroke. See, there was a time years ago, it was me, Curtis, Mark Bither, all on the same APA team. I remember that. That was a, that was a really good team. No, and it wasn't Masters. <laughs> then I don't remember that. Yeah. Uh, at the Didn't you guys all, weren't you guys all on a Masters team as well? I think we were, but I honestly, I no, it was me, Mark Beither, uh Rob Cord, and then uh, Curtis on a hill, somebody else. Uh, that was a master team, but it was me, Curtis, and Mark. Mark at the time was only a four. What's he? At? When's the last time you seen him? It's been a while. Uh, he's very happily engaged, married. I don't know exactly what he is right now, but he, he met a very nice woman, and um, he just doesn't do anything anymore. I'm just joking with you, Fred. So I you think Curtis gets a break and run here? Uh, if he makes a ball in the break, yeah. 
Got a little bump there. It's got potential. It's going to be tight. I think he can do it. Float right toward the chalk off of uh, like the one to two rail position, or, or did, do you think he's going to come off the second rail intentionally? I think he goes uh, two rails. See, he might be going to the bottom rail too. See, I don't. Okay. Yeah. yeah see, I, th I thought he was going to go there, bottom rail, and I think come now out. You, now you call the ten ball, and you just lock the cue ball behind a five. Oh no! He, you you slow roll this in, and the other three in the side, and you can get out. Yeah. You know, honestly, I. Uh, you didn't know if it passed. Yeah. Now he's, he's just trying to figure out the best place to pay, play the five. He's going to roll the three up, try and give himself an angle to come in between the five and the seven to play the five in the side. But he got a little. Now, what do you do? Go forward and play the five in the corner? Or you try and run into the seven and play the five in the no, other side? No, force it down to the bottom rail. It should be five up table. If he has an open shot, he's he the, the problem with this shot, he's got he's got to roll this and he's got to play the six in the corner. I don't think he can hold it for the side. Yeah. You know, optimistically, we'd like to have been straight and just been able to shoot the six in the side. But but yeah, I mean, this is still fine. You don't have to really do anything. You're just stunning it over. Is it, I, I don't think Curtis is going to hold this. I think he's going to try to go to the side rail. I, I think I would try to hold it and just take the angle. I think he's seven. holding it. Yeah, yeah, he did. Okay. Yeah. He he has very good. He's well, he, he's been he's been hitting them hard. That's yes. The only reason I, I didn't I didn't expect him to hold that one. Oh no, I agree. And it's always difficult Ooh. sitting back here seeing, you know, that angle may have looked so much better from standing behind the table. Who knows? Is he cutting that ball in or banking it? He's gonna play it safe. That's not a bad play. It's a smart all, all the all the pressures on Garcia. Yeah, it's a smart play. But Garcia can just go ahead and do the same thing right back to him. Yeah, but now but now you I I, I think it's still in, in your favor because now you can create distance. There's other things you can do. That's a good shot. Because if you if you gave him too much angle you just cut it uh, if you gave him less angle you just cut it all the way up. Now you're making him that ten ball actually is uh, in a good position because it saves you from a scratch and you can bump it over. Now the 10 ball will get spotted and you still have to shoot it. Yep. <laughs> Very nice. I would I would have told him he was good just because of that. Now, if you're doing called shot, called safe, does the ten ball still come up, or do you lose your shot? The ten ball still comes up, so okay. because you may, you may, as long as you made the one you called, you made the one that you gotcha. called. Curtis, yeah. so you good one. More. All right, so Curtis wins seven to two. Uh, very strong showing from him, and we're looking forward to our next match, which will be. It'll be me uh, hitting balls. <laughs>